I pledge to serve and defend my country and its people with honor, dignity, courage, and integrity. I serve in the SANDF with loyalty and pride as a citizen and a volunteer. This is not just a uniform, it's a symbol of dedication and honor for which I am willing to lay down my life. SANDF, safeguarding South Africa for a better life for all. Celebrating Armed Forces Day. Well, Minister, talk to us, talk us through the significance of this day. Vuyo, this is a, a very significant day in that this is a, a tribute to all our women and men in uniform. This is how we honor them. This is to recognize and appreciate the work they do every day. Remember, these are people who took an oath that they are ready to lay their lives on the line. And indeed, some of them have laid their lives on the line for the Republic of South Africa. So this day is a very important day to their families and to all of them, men and women in uniform. So the Commander-in-Chief, obviously, will be part of the proceedings. He will address uh, the members but not only that, we will also have a demonstration of the capabilities we have, which to me is very significant and very important for South Africans to see what we do with their tax money. Because people always say, what do they do with other, what does it want? But actually, there is a lot we do with your tax, Voyo. And today, you will see that, and I'm sure tomorrow you'll be able to attest to the fact that indeed it is worth it. It is my singular honor to host this fourth celebration of our Armed Forces Day as Commander-in-Chief of our country's armed forces. We dedicate 21 February each year to celebrating our armed forces. This annual celebration reflects the confidence that we as a nation and a country have in the South African National Defense Force. a guest this morning and her name is Casey and she's going to tell us briefly about her experience of the Navy and how she found the entire week of having the SANDF on her shores in Port Elizabeth. Hello Casey. Um, now you went and visited one of the Marines. Can you take us through exactly how that was, what you learned and maybe which of the people that you met? Well I went on to one of the big um, Navy ships where we saw all the big um, machine guns that they used and where they um, landed the helicopters. We also went and saw um, where they put the helicopters and in at one of the garages 
and it was actually, it was really nice because the Marines were, they were all very kind and nice to us. They made a, they actually made a lunch for us as well from, uh, yes. Um, <laughs> okay, and today you're here at the parade. What are you hoping to see when these people walk, walk, walk past this afternoon? Well, I'm hoping to see, um, like, a lot of them doing their normal routine of how they usually march and how they all look in their formation. And the Minister of Defence did say that above the suite was taking the services that the SNDF to the people, showing that, they, you know what, they can paint, they can dive, they can do sport, they can do demonstrations, they can do so much that there are people, yes, who are called to fight for the country, but people have a social responsibility as well. And I think for people in the Nasmada Metro, we have seen that. We have seen people who are fighting for our country on the firing line, literally every day fighting for our country, but people who are able also to defend our country. So it's really been exciting. I remember actually the day when they arrived on the SAS Jarkinsburg, how exciting exciting was that to see a naval ship arrive in our harbour and then from then we went on to a jazz concert that's something that we've never seen before the band singing a choir after that we had a night shooting where over 5,000 people gathered on this beach to see how the army would fight if they were in a war we saw jets flying across the sky we saw the army coming off a helicopter you know how it is in the movies that's what we saw in P and it's really been exciting then after that on Saturday we were at Kupumleni old age home where the Minister of Defense handed over uh, old age home which was revamped by the SNDF all part of the legacy project which is actually a partnership between social development and and the Defence Force and they identified this old age home as one needing a lot of help to refurbish. So it was really, really exciting and to see really the SNDF going out there painting, creating, making windows, interacting with the elderly. I pledge to serve and defend my country and its people with honour, dignity, courage and integrity. I serve in the SANDF with loyalty and pride as a citizen and a volunteer. This is not just a uniform, it's a symbol of dedication and honor for which I am willing to lay down my life. SANDF, safeguarding South Africa for a better life for all. Celebrating Armed Forces Day.